It's a nice, calm, relaxing day, and I feel French Quarter is definitely the most quietest Disney World resort. So I kind of planned out this thing where I wanted to come, hang out, sit on the massage chairs, get some jambalaya, some gumbo, maybe some beignets, and just You're walk around. A lot, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So let's go do this. And first thing on the agenda. My favorite ride at Disney World, the massage chairs. I just love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Oh, so peaceful. Oh, love the massage chairs. Honestly, this thing is really hurting me. Oh. Well, now that the massage business is taken care of, let's take a look around at the resort a little bit, eh? Okay. So peaceful, so quiet here. Literally, you can hear crickets, but there's no crickets out right now, but I'm sure you can hear crickets when they do come out. I don't hear crickets. No, it's a keep, keep. Little well, purr? <laughs> Look at her. It's just so peaceful the fact that you can just stand here and look at this fountain and actually hear the water and the drains gurgling. Is this your story? Yeah, it's amazing. Relaxing, I say. And look at the way I'm talking. I'm talking in a relaxing, calming voice. Making my way down Jazz Boulevard. I guess that didn't go well. No. But isn't it beautiful? Look at the facade of the rooms. Is that the proper word to use? Uh, facade. I call it the face. The face? I don't know actually oh. what I call it. I don't usually say it. Well, we're going to head down by the water because uh, it's actually pretty down there. And then we're going to make a roundabout back up to the eatery area because I got to get some jambalaya. Gumbo. <laughs> yeah, or some gumbo. Gumbalaya. Gumbalaya. Also, the horse buggy straps right here because you know the carriage rides go right through here. I knew I hear crickets. Okay, I hear them. Those mm -hmm. might be cicadas though. Oh, they might be cicadas? Yeah. This is Carriage Path, which actually is named after the what? path of carriages. <laughs> okay. Yes. Down by the bay here. Where the watermelons grow. You can always see the boat that takes you from Port Orleans to French Quarter to I Disney go. Springs. Or if I do. Your mother will say. Have you ever seen a cat wearing horse mats? Horse mats. Yeah. Down by the bay. One of the cool things I want to point out is the Beignet Dash Fun Run. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. they do a race around the resort and at the end of it you know, all that hard work, you get to reward yourself with a tasty beignet. Oh, darn it. It's on Sundays. I can't do it. Yep. Just can't do it. It's not on our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> it's $15 plus tax. But that's pretty good. I mean, you know, $15 really? for a beignet dash. Really looking forward to that. Oh, well, maybe next time. Okay. We were going to take you in and show you a little bit of the pool area. 
because it's really nice. It's really nice and themed. But Veronica will tell you why we can't do that. And I'll, I mean, I'll tell you it's closed, but Veronica wants to explain why it's closed. It was a dark and stormy night. It was a long time ago, longer now than it seems, in a place perhaps you've seen in your dreams. For the story that you are about to be told took place in the holiday world of old. The pool's closed because there's a storm coming. Yep. They do have an outdoor bar area, the Mardi Gras, which is open even though the pool's closed. And they got their, you know, cocktails and beers. I'm gonna see if they have a menu we can take a peek at, eh? Look at that. This is like one of the most well-themed like lounge menus I've ever seen. Like mostly it's like the same ones all over the place, like the little binder, but I feel like they have different drinks here. Huh. Here we are right outside, where are we? Gator Alley. Gator Alley. This is as soon as you leave that lounge, and that lounge seems like a real cool, chill place to actually hang out. And, I mean, the gators are leaving happy. Look at them. They look thrilled. Excuse me, Mr. Gator. Do you know what horse mats are? Still trying to figure that one out. He knows. He knows. Oh, I bet you he knows. Look at that. Mm-hmm. He won't tell you, mm -hmm. though. It's a secret. Well, I'm getting a little hungry. So we're gonna go into Sasagula, see Lower. what nice New Orleans style food they have. I love jambalaya, gumbo. I like spicy food, but not too spicy. I like it mild spicy. Does that make sense? No. Huh. Man, this place is empty. Well, that's because it's like two o'clock. I, th I think everyone's at the parks right now. Got your cheeseburgers, your chicken on a biscuit with voodoo sauce. And then a cheesesteak po' boy. And then over here is the beignet shop. On this side, pizza and pasta. Shrimp and grits as well. But where I'm going, that's where the jambalaya will be. Ooh, jambalaya and gumbo. I that's think I'm, I I'm gonna try jambalaya. them both. I'm going both, I'm going both, I'm going brave. Jambalaya and a cup of gumbo. I can tell you what, I didn't even take a bite of this yet, but I already know this is gonna be the best Disney meal I've ever purchased for $14. You can't go wrong, all together. Huge bowl of gumbo with rice, jambalaya, look at the cornbread. $14 for all of this. That's an amazing deal. I'm so excited. Yip is not a big fan of jambalaya or gumbo. I am. I wish I was. In fact, jambalaya is up there in like my top three foods. Uh, meatloaf is there too. I'm a meatloaf enthusiast. I like macaroni and cheese, grilled cheese. I like chicken nuggets. Yeah, your basic kids meal menu items. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna dive in. And of course, if we're eating, you know what that means. I'm going gumbo first. No, that's not what they know. Oh. How is it? Like heaven. Amazing. That's like heaven? I love it. Come on, everybody. I made gumbo. The spice index on the gumbo is a little higher than the jambalaya. I was playing Tiana. Oh, is this Tiana's gumbo? Yeah. Mm. So the gumbo, I believe was $4. Yeah, $4.39. And I gotta tell you, this is filling. Is it? Are yeah. you filling Well, I'm like, this is a big helping for $4.39. Oh. Like, really is. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get the jambalaya but I don't know if I'm gonna finish it. I'm sure I'm gonna force myself to finish it. Who took a nibble of your cornbread? Hey, you cornbread sneaker, you! <laughs> so I decided I wanna put my cornbread in the gumbo and see what it tastes like. That's a good idea. It's like a little sweet and spicy. 
Very good idea. Thank you. We're on to the second dish. Well, he took the rest of the gumbo and put it on the gumbolaya. Because the rice was a little dry. Oh, wait, so now is it really gumbolaya, like I call it? Mind blown. It's gumbolaya, gumbolaya. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, anyway, Nate's gonna take a bite right now. No? Oh, yes. was so good. It was $9.99. It was served with that gigantic cornbread slice. And uh, it was too big. I couldn't eat it all. <laughs> all right, so I did eat it all. But it was delicious. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It's probably one of my favorite meals, actually. And uh, I think because now I am literally too full because I ate the gumbo and the jambalaya, there's no way I'm getting beignets. I couldn't do it. I couldn't fit those down. Nate's back. What's in the bag? What did you just say on film? I wasn't going to do it. Again. Mm -hmm. He has lied to you guys about his capacity that he has. Bottle sugar mess. <laughs> no, don't eat it like that. Pick it up and eat, bite the ear. Bite the ear? Yeah. So you actually get three beignets for $4.39 or six for $6.39. Oh my goodness, we were definitely told not to eat like this. <laughs> we're such a mess. No, she just threw no, that sugar not. on me. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Look at me now. It's on your arm, it's on your, it's on your lips. You are covered, boy. He literally said, I don't want any more. I'll take this one home. Stop calling me out. <laughs> How to know if your husband snuck away and ate beignets or funnel cake. It kind of reminded me of the same thing. Ew, he just put it back in the bag, bounced Shook it, it around so I get just more so sugar that he could it. get more sugar on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that lunch or dinner is over or whatever you want to call it, I want to show you some of the cool artwork before we head out inside of uh, the cafeteria area over here. I like how they have the Mardi Gras bees as lights up top and these random floating umbrellas. I don't know what the significance is of that, but it's pretty cool. So I don't know what the meaning of these pictures are. I'm sure it has something to do with New Orleans art style. It has some significant meaning, but I like them a lot. Like this old man gator right here. Like they're kind of cool. Or they have these ones here. Oh, look at this goat man, he's got a pint. And this one's my favorite. It's like a bee old man grim reaper. Oh, Veronica probably likes that cat lady. Well, that's it for here at the uh, French Quarter. Now that I'm covered in powdered sugar, and I got a full stomach. I gotta take a nap before I go to work. Yep. And Veronica's gonna show off some of the mail that we got oh, recently. yeah, I got a lot of mail. Yeah. So, uh, let's head home. Okay, we are back home now. We're going to open up some mail. This first one was a card. It says, ouch. <laughs> and then it says, thanks for taking one for the team, Nate. Never drop the camera and never miss the monorail shot. Hope you're back on your feet soon. Happy birthday, yep. It's 5.54 p.m. Nate, you guys are awesome. Hugs, Darlene and Henry Lutz from PA. And then they sent us this because they're from Hanover, Pennsylvania. We are missing the fall season, by the way. We are very much. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been watching for a long time. We remember. Next, I had a package, and it was from Dez. It came with this magnet bottle holder with Gracie on it, and I love my Dalmatian. This awesome car coaster, which is great because these work really well, and I used to have one in my other car, but the car got crashed, so I didn't take it with me. So I'm happy to have that one, and it's perfect. Then it came with a Dalmatian pen. If it can focus, maybe not. Look at how cute. And then it came with, a, it was an elephant. 
cookie for Gracie, not for you. I know, you're jealous, I know. Oh, Gracie, I have a surprise for you. Go get it. I think, I think, I think we like it. Do we like it? Not sure? She says thank you anyway. She really, oh wait, she does like it. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Des. And then I got another postcard. It's got all the characters on it. And it says, we would love to buy you a drink if we see you when we're back home in August, but in case we don't see you, here are these light up Bud Light ears I made for you. Um, look at these. These are so funny and cool. And yeah, they light up. What? These are so awesome. And they're Bud Light themed. Like that's so awesome and perfect. You, what? Rita? Rita wants to wear them. She's being, oh, that's cute. These are from Julie. She actually has an Etsy shop. It's Ears by Julie. I will put that in the description. These are awesome. Thank you so much, Julie, Steven, Maria. Thank you very, very much. These are awesome. And then from Amanda and Cousin Fred, live the life you love. This is perfect because I think my theme I go for down here in the living room, down here in the living room, what am I talking about? Is like a gold, like I have a gold coral, gold clock, gold dreams, gold, gold, gold. I, I, I love gold. The next thing that I got are these 101 Dalmatian salt and pepper shakers, which I have never seen these before anywhere in my life. These are amazing. It came with a postcard with the name of who got them for us, but somebody ate the postcard. Did you eat the postcard, Gracie? Did you eat the postcard? Oh, you did eat the postcard. It wasn't your sister. How dare you blame Rita? So honestly, I don't know who sent these and it's very sad to me. I think I have the half of the postcard sitting here, but these are so cute and I really wish I know who sent them. If you did send those salt and pepper shakers, please let me know so I can thank you the right way because my little stinker here ate, I think there was two postcards in that package. She ate them both, both of them. She numbed those right up. Next, this is what I got last. This is from Nancy and Eric. This is amazing. I have to move these things out of the way just to show you guys this. This is the blueprint of the outside of the haunted mansion framed like if you didn't know i love the haunted mansion more than anything in the world so i've been like thinking about when this is over this vlog where can i put it like would it look good here like i love it so much i don't even know where to put it it has to be displayed proudly maybe i was thinking also taking this thing down and just putting like everything you guys send us on this wall here I think that's a pretty cool idea also in that package there's a hat box ghost bottle opener and it's a magnet and then there was a gift card to enjoy a magical star cocktail and some bud lights and yeah that's gone <laughs> this is <laughs> we enjoyed it though so thank you very much this is ice cube maker, uh, an ice cube maker, which is really cool because this is the bat that I have up here. So it matches my bat. I thought that was really neat. Another thing that came in the mail for me is my Negro Orlando shirt, your favorite vlogger's favorite vlogger. I thought that was pretty cool. I still want to know who done it? Who ate the postcard? 
Was it you? That was a great trip to the post office. You guys go above and beyond. It's like, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I'm sorry, I put on my slippers. I shouldn't put on my slippers while I'm filming. This is why I don't do the vlogging that often because I'm just all over the place. I appreciate every single thing. I even appreciate the letters, the, the, the postcards, everything. You guys, I cannot thank you enough. I'm really sorry about the Dalmatian salt and pepper shakers. I don't even know how she got a hold of that postcard, but she did. And I, I, I don't know what to say. She's a really a stinker. I also, pardon that cat butt. I also want to say a huge happy birthday to Amelia. She is turning four years old. I also want to say a huge happy birthday to Holly and Millie. Their birthdays were this month too. So happy birthday, you guys. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here. So again, happy birthday to you guys. And thank you to everyone who sent us anything. Mate is sleeping. Rita is climbing up here on the counter. Here she comes. And Gracie wants me to play with her toys with her. And I just want to say love the life you live and live the life you love. And then I would say that if it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel thing. I guess I'll say it. If it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You might like it. So toodaloo. Live the life you live. Live the life you love. <laughs> live the life you love. If it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You might like it. So toodaloo. Hey, toodaloo! 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 Are you sleepy? We just got back from the dog park and all of Gracie's friends were there. We would go for a walk and we had all these friends. Oh, here comes Rita. Can't take away from her any attention from Rita. Okay, bye guys. Bye!